Hello everyone, you're welcome. This is Kingsley once again from Kingsbird Designs. In today's tutorial, I'm going to be showing you how to convert PDF file and make it editable. You notice mostly when a work is in PDF, you find it difficult editing it. So I'm going to be showing you how to do make every any every PDF file editable using CorelDRAW, and this is just done using just few clicks. In less than five to six clicks, your your work will be perfectly ready for editing. How am I going to do that? Let me just let's just go straight right away into the tutorials. Now I'm going to this is like this is the file I'm going to be editing. I'm going to be editing this particular file. Let's say if I have this already a PDF file, which is not editable yet. So now I'm going to be showing you how to edit this particular file using CorelDRAW. Now I'm going to make use of this is the file. So what I'm going to do is just to drag and drop into it. And you see it prompts this prompt will come out. Then you got you're going to select text. It's going to be on text. Now note why selecting this ensure you select a particular page for example if you need want to edit only page 5 of this particular document you're going to select page 5 only but if you are going to if you select the whole of this it's going to give you an issue then you have problem editing it now like now i'm going to show you in the two scenarios i'm talking about here now let me just make use of i'm going to select page one i want to edit page one that's this particular page of this document so i'm going to select page one i'll make sure it's on page one and click on now you just wait for it it's going to load and pop up now you can see there are some fonts it's giving me some fonts are actually missing so what i'm going to do now i might just select okay i'll select temporary that's it. going to the corridor will just give me a font then I'm going to use that temporarily you not know, but I'm not going to use it permanently then I can decide to, let me use this then just click on ok it's going to just load and bring out the result out for you let's just wait for it a little as you can see we now have our image here just go feed, take it to the center ok now you can see it only came with one page of this it only came with the first page that i inserted now let me keep this aside let me show you the second scenario i was talking about now if i should do something like this drag this here and perhaps say i maybe decide to leave it at okay let me say from page one to page five then as text then okay here is what will happen you can see when i'm selecting multiple pages it takes a longer time to load so we just have to just wait patiently for it to come up okay here is it here now now you now notice that same thing it did here you can see it doesn't create pages what it did was to combine all of them together as one which is actually not what we actually need like now if i should ungroup this if i should ungroup this i believe you might be thinking you're going to get everything separately but you can see what i'm having here it's not what i actually need this is totally going to drop my work this is not what i actually needed this is not how i wanted it to be so that is why i said you should use this first scenario of selecting just one page out first you're going to just select one page at a time you can do them separately like now this other page we did earlier so we just like now we're going to ungroup this together and here comes the editing as a home group you can see all the whole files they are separate 
now let me show you okay when you click on this and just pick your text tool you can see you can easily edit add things to it it's just as if you are doing the work from you can see you can easily edit make okay let me make yours right now you can see i can actually edit it and make it to whatever way i want it you can see in corridor we actually corridor actually identify those parts that are actually images those parts that are images for you it actually identify them so you can see this side are images same thing with these places they are all images that's why it identified this is also is a editable text you can actually edit this let me say i don't want this to be let me alter the date let me say 20 and 2020 you can see you can actually alter this still giving you the same font so you can use this to actually edit any document you want to any pdf file you want to edit you can actually edit edit it to your choice with no stress and everything so you can now see how you have been able to edit this and let me say okay after i'm done with it you can actually export it in case you're working on different pages this is the same way you are going to make use use of it you just what you only need to do is to maybe add another page and do repeat the same procedure insert then now you select page two of it then okay So you can see this is the page two of my document of which is also editable on group it. You can see how fast it took me now to just do this one since I already the first one was just for me to show you how it looks like. So which resume do you want to create? Do you wish to Reasonably is the right for you for you to use. You can just edit it and maybe when you once you're done with it, you can see how fast it is when doing this. And just let me page then and just go export to PDF. You can export it to PDF or can't save us then select the you now choose your PDF format here. Then let me okay, save it to my desktop. And let me just see resume now. Click on OK. It's going to just save it for me as a PDF file. So I cannot make use of this. For later purposes so you can now see this is a pdf file let me open it now you can see this is it you can see to make yours now where i edited and you have the page two right for you to use you can see how i've been able to edit this without even working a day temporary with anything you can see how i've been able to achieve this in just few seconds